Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Providencia and I am going to make a chicken hibarito sandwich. I already got one with pork. I already got one with steaks. Look at my channel and you'll see how I made those, okay? Um, so I was like, let me make a chicken one. Now I want to first talk about this thing right here. It is... Um, it's a like plantain presser. You could use it for plantain presser. You could use it for hibarito presser. You could um, use it for like, um, you know, the Mexicans where they do that, you know, um, they own tortillas and stuff like that. They gotta like, you know, press it down, I guess. I don't know, I'm not Mexican, I'm sorry. Um, but you know what I mean. This is a presser, it presses your food, I guess. And it came with a stick though, but I haven't had the time to take it out of here and you know, for I could press it down. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna use it that way today, but I am gonna put it. But I want you to see how it looks. As you can see, look, it opens and it closes, all right? I think this makes it better because all you gotta do is just press it down and it'll do all the work for you. But today, I'm gonna do some work with my hands. It makes no difference. Um, I want to thank Delilah for giving me this gift. She's a subscriber, but, you know, I'm looking at her more like a friend, too, because me and her has, you know, wrote to each other on Facebook, you know, deep letters, you know, like deep messages. You know, I know a couple of things in her end. She knows a couple of things in my end. So, you know, I cherish things like that. But she did buy me this and she sent it to me. Um, so um, that was very thoughtful of her and I really appreciate it. I know that you're supposed to put like parchment paper here, you know, you know, for it won't have to get dirty or you won't have to get little pieces of like wood, I guess. <laughs> but I'm gonna use um, aluminum for you today, which, you know, whatever works. And I am gonna be using this today for to make the hibarito sandwich. So I hope that you're watching because I'm using it today, yay! And this is the first time, let's see how it goes. Um, if it goes well, sure, I'm going to be using this all the time to make my hibarito sandwiches and everything. But anyway, let me stop talking. Thank you so much, Delilah. I really appreciate it. Um, I really, really like it a lot. A lot. Um, so we're going to do our hibarito sandwich. And I got here some strips. I don't have a lot of like meat because I'm only making one hibarito sandwich and I'm making it. Um, my kids are eating chicken stew. I'll show you that at the end of the video as well with yellow rice and, and um, potato salad. I'm gonna eat yellow rice, potato salad and my hibarito sandwich. Um, my boyfriend didn't even want no hibarito sandwich. He wanted some stew. So I said, ah, boy, you know what? More for me. <laughs> so this is this is um, a chicken cutlass. This is one chicken cutlass. It was pretty thick. And I cut them into strips. All right. And we're going to season this baby. All right. And um, let me take my seasonings. Um right here um first you want to get um a little bit of vinegar just a little bit and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil okay it just fell <laughs> that was funny all right, now I have to pick it up and clean it up in a minute. Just leave it like that for now, I guess. And I got some parsley. I love parsley flakes. Just a little bit, just to make it look pretty, you know? And then I got garlic powder. I do have garlic, um, re uh, regular garlic, which we are gonna use towards the end, okay? And I'm gonna show you that as well. But that's why for now I wanna use garlic powder. You'll see why. And, oh man, I should've used this one. This is garlic, roasted garlic. All right, I'm not gonna use it because I already put enough garlic. <laughs> 
Um, and this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use adobo. This one is the lemon and pepper, all right? Like I say all the time, the top is always a different flavor, you understand? So, you know, you got a different variety of adobo to, you know, to choose from. Let me tell you one thing, I'm Hispanic, we usually add adobo to all of our cooking, all of our food, we do it. But I'm gonna tell you, if if it's not your thing, all you gotta do is just use your salt and pepper, that's it. You know, you don't have to season it in the way I am, you know, and stuff. Just season it. If you don't wanna add adobo, add salt. It's all right, it's all goody. You know, do, do what you want in your kitchen. So I'm gonna add this, I just bought this, so. <laughs> And I just want that nice lemon taste, you know, to my hibaritos. So, and I'm not adding sazon because I don't add sazon to everything, you know. I like, sometimes I add it, sometimes like I don't, you know. All right. Make sure with your hands you really clean it really good, okay? Okay, so I'll show you what to do next. So here we have our pan. And I am gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Making sure it gets hot. I'm debating if I should do half hibarita or like a whole one. And they should take this garbage down. Oh, you was recording. Yeah. So uh, leave it put in. Put that. Put that in the pantry, please. That box. If you don't mind. That's to put everything back. All right. It's ready. cook a little bit because I cook so much and when I make something like this for myself it's weird. Hi. The food is almost done, don't worry. I just moved the rice for another like 10 minutes. You heard? You made mashed potatoes? I made macaroni, no, potato salad. So we're going to let that cook. I lowered it down a little bit. Remember, chicken cutlets, you know, it cooks pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? So keep an eye on it. You know, don't walk away from it and stuff like that. Okay, so it's almost finishing. It's, it's almost finishing there. Let it keep cooking. And while I'm cooking it, why don't we go here? You know, not waste any time. Oh, let the video drag. Let me turn this water off. I'm gonna cut some um, peppers. I think that's a lot, but so what? And we're gonna do this one as well. And here, baby, can you put this back where it belongs? That way, you don't have to be hunting on the table. Now, to do the plantains, I'm gonna do that last because it cooks quick. <laughs> Sorry, I don't got my cutter. I got my cutter there, but I'm feeling a little lazy, so I'm just gonna do it in my counter. 
plus my counter is very clean okay anybody that knows me knows that I'm always cleaning the house cleaning the kitchen this is a big one <laughs> Let me see if I can cut it. Okay. And I'm gonna add it here. And I'm gonna cut some red um, onions. You could choose any onion of your choice, but on like the red one, it just gives it such a sweeter taste. I don't know. I really love red onions, like with everything. Like, except for beans. I'll probably add the white onion for beans. <laughs> But when it comes to cooking like this, yeah, I love red onion. Okay. Oh, sorry. Honey, put the big light on. Because it looks like it's like, yeah, now you can see a little better. Oh god, this one is going to be a problem. Alright. And here we go. Another three, like two more minutes. Extra virgin olive oil. vinegar I put a lot because you know there's a, like a lot of veggies here salt and pepper sorry I can't give you exact measurements you know me I eyeball everything Sure you really get in there. Make so sure you marinate every every little pepper, every little onion, whatever you can. And break the onions apart while you're also doing it, okay? Mm, look at this. Now this is gonna be a lot <laughs> for for the hibarito I'm making. Too much. Pero I'll put some away and then for another day, you know. All right, so we did that, and let's go to the, to the kitchen, to the chicken, and let's just take this out. I'm putting it in this container. Like I said, it's only for me, you know? I'm gonna put the top on to keep it warm. Um, what we do next? Oh, let me cut. We already cut this, so we could really start off with. Oh, this is what we gotta start next. I'm trying to give you step by step. Um, the pan is still on very low because I am gonna do my onions and my peppers very soon. The rice is done. The beef, the chicken stew is done. The mac, oh, the potato salad is done. That's what I made today, and I'm making this to do a video. <laughs> um, where is the beef? Where is the so we have here some um some garlic. Now I don't got a pesto, which is a pilon in Spanish. I don't got a pesto. Um, in New York, I had lent it out and someone took it. And they never gave it me back, basically. But I am going to buy one because I do need one because I want to make a mofongo for this channel. And it's required to have a pesto to make the mofongo with shrimps. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time what's what. So this is what I do. I do my own little version. I put it in a Ziploc bag 
and it works out just fine. I bang it. So this is a little trick. You ain't got no pesto, you could do it the ghetto way. <laughs> and it works. You crush all of your garlic, perfect. Okay, so as you can see that I did all of my garlic. Now shake it up. That's how you do it. Shakey, shakey. And it'll go all the way in the bottom. And then you can put this in a plate or something, which I'm gonna do right now. Um, yeah, let's use this pretty one. Wow, in and out. I'm almost finished. I want to eat. Yes. <laughs> I'm almost finished in here. Okay, so I got my garlic. I take it out with my hands and throw it away. Now with that, you're going to use the same method I always use. All your vinegar, salt, and pepper. Do not fill it up too much. I would say fill it up to like where where the level of your garlic is, okay? You don't want to add too, too much. Okay. So that is the level of the garlic. And a little bit of vinegar that's about like two like maybe caps full if you really want to know salt and pepper oh easy on the salt and just a little bit of pepper hey Mimo And you shake it up because this is gonna go on your plantains or your tostone. Okay, this is an excellent, excellent sauce. When you make plantains, put this on top. Oh my gosh, it's like you went to heaven and back. So here you go. Put that aside. got a tomato as well cutting the tomato where's the big knife oh. I'm not gonna eat a lot of tomatoes this tomato is not really hard I like you know I like I like it when it's hard I hate it when like the the that it's like a soft tomato oh Okay, so at least I got three out of it. Let's go and get a dish for that. All right, there you go. So we got all of our preparation there. Hold on. Just want to show you. Right there, we got everything. Do I got the lettuce? I also have lettuce and I got avocado. And we got the tortone, all right? Let's do the tortone now. Oh, and cheese too, how, how can I forget, right? These plantains are like skinny, right? This is a plantain, okay? Not to be confused with the yellow ones with the black like spots. Those are um, 
sweet plantains platano maduroso you don't want that even though they taste really good but for this recipe you do not need that you need the green one all right i was just telling my boyfriend how skinny this plantain look it's like like a nice fat plantain <laughs> look at this I hope I can make a sandwich with this. Okay. And when you do this, you gotta put it in hot water for at least two minutes. Okay, so I got the platano, I got the plantain. And... I mean, you can do it with your hands, so... When you put it in hot water, it just comes out faster to me. I don't know. Yes? Yes? I'm recording. Okay, so we are going to cut this in the half. Whoop, almost fell on the floor. Oh my goodness. And we are going to go and fry these. You can make a very big hibarito like this size, let's just say. All right? But I want a small one because it's just me. Um, so I'm going to go and go over here. Oh, sugar. I don't got it too high. I got it like a medium high. A pot. And I'm sorry that you see little things there. Today I made french fries. And I'm using the same oil. Why not? It's not like it's nothing wrong. Alright. I'm gonna let that do its thing. Alright. And they gotta cook through. Okay, we're gonna do that. I don't have it too, too high, you know. But it could really do a thing, you know. All right, you got the mayonnaise? Thank you. Now we gotta do, while that's doing this thing, do mayo ketchup. Because mayo ketchup is gonna go on the, I'm sorry. I'm cooking for my family and I'm trying to do a tutorial on you know on this all right my family already got their meal they got their their chicken stew white um, yellow rice and potato salad this is something this is something extra you know so even though it's a little early they you know they could wait for their food but if i want to i could feed them now did you do it yeah. oh. So with mayo, with mayo ketchup, I already do me a favor, I'm sorry. Give me onion garlic, I mean onion um, powder. Does this look like the right color? Yeah, that's good. See, my boyfriend always helps me around the kitchen. Look. Okay. Just a little bit of onion powder. Mix it very, very well. You don't want no lumps. You don't want none of that. All right. Perfect. Push that aside. 
You got that. I don't want to cut the avocado now because, you know, then it gets brown and stuff. But for now, what I am going to do is over here. And that's a small hibarito. I'm putting about... About that much pepper. And the rest I'll just put in the refrigerator for tomorrow or another day or something. I'm gonna cut some lettuce. Because this is almost, you know gonna be done and I'm gonna plate some food so I could um show it to you guys um oops I'm on it so alright so I cut this from the lettuce I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm going to rinse that out to clean it. And I'm going to start cutting the avocado as well. Because it's looking like everything is almost getting together. My peppers is doing good, but I'm going to turn it off. I want a nice crunch to my peppers, so let's see how my platano is doing, my planting. Let me see. I'm going to put a fork. seems good to me. Let me give it a little two more minutes. Okay, so I have the presser here and I, you know, secured it with aluminum foil. Um, and I got the platanos here. Let's hope I do it right. <laughs> I mean, I've done two already, hibaritos. Alright, so let's hope I'm doing it right. Oh, this is hot. Look, Ernie. Impressed. Oh, wait. Wow. oh man, it's too squish. Try not to do it hard. Oh, I did it too hard. Yeah, let's watch Cyber Chase. I'm about to do the other platano, yo. It's hot. You didn't know. That was the first time, right? Yeah. I mean, if I could take it out, I'll work with it. Fuck that. Look at how nice it represses. It presses good though. Thank you, Delilah. I need a spatula or something. Which one? This is hot, boy. I can't dance so. So I did the, the the um I did it, but I I did it too. How can I say thin? But I'm still gonna rock with it. You know, this is the first time me ever. Oh yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm leaving it. Look. It's supposed to be a little thicker than this, but <laughs> let me just put that. Nope. Let me let me put it somewhere flat because I don't want to. Because I got to still do a deep fry. Okay, this is the other one. I'm going to have to do the same thing with this one. Ready? One, two, three. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. I really, really like this. You heard? Yeah. I like it so much. Oh my God. I really like it. Yeah, I, I did it too thin compared to like the way it's supposed to be. Pero mira, los tostones. 
Thank you so much, Delilah. Oh my God, I really love it. I swear, I'm gonna be doing more stuff. Oh, by the way, my boyfriend put the stick. Remember that the stick wasn't on earlier? He's the one that put it on. My boyfriend, he's so nice. And Pedro said, let me go and take out all this. That's a good idea she gave me, right? To put the aluminum foil and stuff. Because you sometimes you could get splits. 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 Am I saying it right? Splinter. There you go. Yeah. Hey, baby, don't go me. And if you can, please, can I have water? Come on. Can I have water? Okay. Alright, this is it. I've just got to fry this, Ernie. Like for two minutes and then I'm done. They want to eat. So these are the two platanos, and I love them. I really do. Oh yeah, let me put them a little high cause all they gotta do is fry, crunch up a little bit. Oh my God, it's really nice, I like that. Here you go. Thank you. You're sweet. Okay, so it's done. All I have to do is take it out. Okay, it's not giving me problems. All right, why is it giving me problems? Oh, shit, it's a split. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh, here's our black and I'll be back with one more thing. So this is the plate. This is my plate. Yellow rice with potato salad. But I'm going to put it aside. Because I'm going to do the hibarito sandwich right here. And then put it in my plate. Hopefully. So we have the hibarito sandwich here, the the stuff. Um, I like this one. This one is bigger. Um, and I got my. Oh no! Wait a minute. Hold on. Where's my spoon? Oh, don't tell me there's no spoons. Baby spoon, please. Yes, I do need one. I, my boyfriend's been helping me all day, I know. Big <laughs> one? Any kind. It's just to spread the mayonnaise. Thank you. And I'm going to spread some of this juicy, beautiful sauce on top. Yummy. And I'm going to put the chicken. I'm trying to do it like this so when I cut... It, it won't be, no? This chicken is good though, mmm, I can smell it. Let's see. There you go. It's like two or three little pieces of meat. Let me eat one. Mmm. And it tastes so good. Chicken? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Please do it the way I did it. You won't regret it. I want cheese. Hold on. I don't know if I should put one or two. You know what? Let's put two. Why not? Mmm. -mm. Oh, yeah. What else? Um. I'm gonna add some. I'm just taking stuff. Where's the spoon that I just had? Oh. Alright. Mmm. 
put all that grease in there. Hibarito, hibarito sandwich, it's not like, you know, oh yeah, weight loss and shit. Nope, it ain't. So I'm letting y'all know now. Um, I'm gonna eat two of these. There you go. And out of all things, I forgot to put the lettuce. But it's alright, we can put it now. There you go. That. And we're gonna put some. Um. Avocado. Let me put the avocado like this. Like that. In case I wanna cut it, you can see it, you know? I like avocado. I could eat like a whole avocado to myself. I don't know if y'all could do that, but I could. I love avocado. But the avocados here, I don't know. It sucks. It's not like New York avocado for some reason. Right? Shit. I haven't came across a good ass of avocado, nice and juicy and plumpy, in a minute. Miss my New York fruits and vegetables. Alright? Now, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna see if I got everything. I'm definitely gonna put salt on the avocado, you know? Not too much, cause the, the, the chicken is really seasoned. It's really good, you know? So you don't gotta do much. Now, I am gonna put um the last platano. Mira que lindo, mendito. I'm gonna be using it all the time. That's what I'm gonna do. So thank you, Delilah. I must have said thank you like 20 times, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that when I appreciate something, I appreciate something. I'm not like these girls that act like they don't appreciate shit. All right. Now this is a fucking hibarito. What's that about? Ooh, espérate. I got a stick for that. Espérate, espérate, wait a minute. <laughs> this is the ending, this is the ending, sweetie. This is the ending, I tell you. So I hope that even though the video is a little long, I hope you yeah, do this recipe. And the garlic. Definitely, definitely put that on top. As much as you want, okay? And... There you go. And there is, you know what? I'm getting my iPhone. My iPhone always takes it real clear. I, I record with my cheap ass freaking camera, you know, just to show you what I'm doing. But I always show you the ending with my iPhone cause it got like, it's more clearer. So I'll be back. Okay, so here is the Hibarito. I put it in a nice plate. And as you can see, it looks nice and beautiful. I am going to put it on my plate now. You're going to see it right now, okay? Look at how beautiful this is. Not only beautiful, let me tell you something. It's going to taste good. You got peppers, you got onions, you got cheese, you got mayo ketchup, you got garlic sauce, avocado, tomato. And it don't get no better than that, okay? <laughs> it does not get no better than that. So I am going to go and I'm going to put this into a plate with my rice and I'll be back. And this is the dish, yellow rice, potato salad, and my delicious chicken hibarito sandwich. And I did a tutorial on that, by the way. I'm also going to show you another dish because this was, I only made this for me and my boyfriend and my kids. I made them something else, which I will show you that next.